Well, hello there, brothers and sisters of Voltbits Universe. You're watching Voltbits Addict again. Welcome back to the channel. And today we're gonna talk about the Russian tank destroyer, which is the Su 100 M1. Uh, well, um, I kind of uh, don't like this tank, but uh, we're gonna see. We're gonna talk about it a bit later. So uh, let's see the equipment: multi-purpose restoration pack, as usual, repair kit, and adrenaline. As it comes for provisions, I'm using uh, uh, extra combat rations, improved fuel and uh, protective kit. And for ammo loadout, 21 uh, AP rounds, night heat rounds and 6 HE rounds, which is enough. Equipment now, uh, gun rammer of course, uh, a chance gun laying drive, uh, vertical stabilizer, defense system, uh, enchanted armor and uh, one of those if you want to, basically I would use the toolbox. Uh, camouflage net, engine accelerator, and um, you can use improved control, but the traverse speed is, uh, as you can see, great. So, uh, yeah. And uh, consumable delivery system on high-end consumables, it depends on you and your plate style. Uh, let's check the armor now. As you can see, against heavy tanks, you literally don't have much of an armor. You have some trollish parts, like the gun mantlet, like the front uh, side and the side of the turret and uh, the nose would bounce if you had more than two freaking de degrees of gun depression you have like max you have is two degrees and that's the weakest part of this tank if we switch to a uh, medium tank let's say t30 43 now we can see you can actually bounce some shots you can just uh, be more aggressive against the medium tanks and uh, that's how you should use it. You should use it against medium tanks. If you need to uh, chase them, you have mobility to do it. But we're gonna talk about it uh, just during the gameplay. I shortened uh, the games a bit because there was literally nothing happening at the beginning of the game. Uh, team basically went the other way. I wanted to show you the lineup so you can see the lineups right now. And I don't remember if I switch it back hopefully I did if not you won't see the minimap sorry for that uh, but basically the, the whole team went uh, on the C and D cap and uh, me uh, was here and the ELC uh, thankfully helped me uh, he came back and uh, as you can see now we were sitting in the in the spawn basically and just camping around but this tank isn't really made for camping of course, if you have a uh, possibility to, to camp, uh, then yeah, you only have two degrees of gun depression, you have a lot of gun elevation, so you can use the gun elevation by just backing up on the hill and you can use, uh, like create um, gun depression like that, in the, this, uh, this way, basically, because you have a lot of gun elevation, so you can uh, stick your gun up and uh, you can uh, just make this uh, gun depression this way. Uh, as you can see, the tank is fast. The mobility of the tank is uh, basically its main main advantage, let's say. Because when you have mobility, you can do things like this. Even if, if you don't have the gun depression, you can face hack in this tank. And um, it's not maybe it's not advised really because the the armor on the upper casement still isn't great. It's trollish, of course, it's trollish, but it's not great. Uh, the best way to do it is like just sneak behind the tanks and use your mobility to just uh, rip them apart and uh, I was trying to uh, do it and uh, basically I did uh, and most of the time you will see me playing it really aggressively because it's really really bad sitting at the at the back of the map uh, just for a couple of minutes uh, first minutes of course, there are situations when you uh, when you have to do it. Uh, basically, when you are bottom tier, or uh, you don't have really mediums uh, that you can support and that you can push with. So that's where you need to basically just stay in cover, stay at the back, and try to do your stuff. Uh, as you can see, as you can hear the music, basically, <laughs> I found uh, the uh, let's say the tune that will fit this tank and uh basically yeah it's a kind of uh russian yellow tank uh, but to be honest i didn't really liked it a lot i already sold it uh and uh 
as it comes for the next tank, the SU-101, it's way, way, way better. It has really similar uh, playstyle, but it's uh, way better in many, many situations. And we're gonna talk it, talk about it in the review of the tank. Uh, but, but as it comes for this one, uh, basically I get rid of it already because it's meh. <laughs> That's all I can say about this tank. Of course, it uh, teaches you the playstyle of SU-101, which is great. And uh, you can see right here that I'm struggling to get my gun down. It's like constant looking at uh, at, the, at your uh, at your ground. That you look at this. You will see how I missed the shot. Like uh, I barely touched the ground. The the bit bump in front of me, and that was enough to make me miss my shot. And uh, that's the one thing I hated about this tank, and it's, si it's similar to SU-101, uh, which is uh, good in a way, because it teaches you how to play it, uh, so that's great. Uh, and the mobility uh, gives you advantage of doing things like this, <laughs> so you, run, you can run away from the enemy tanks, uh, which is great. Uh, and... Uh, yeah, I mastered this tank. I basically mastered it and I, uh, when I mastered it, it wasn't even 100% uh, crew. It was like, I don't know, 80, maybe uh, 90. And most of the games aren't even a full crew because I just won it, uh, finished uh, grinding it quite fast. And yeah, gun depression again. Just basically total disaster. And this guy, thanks, thanks for, for being here. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, if you need to, of course, I want to... Uh, SU is okay. SU-101 is okay. Uh, I can tell you that. Uh, but uh, if you want to get the Object 263, uh, then there's no option. You can skip this tank. Of course, you can free exp it. And if you have free experience, I would advise you basically to uh, at least get the top modules by free XP. Uh, and then this tank can be uh, can be quite effective at least it will teach you how to play the next tank the SU-101 and um, SU-1254 is also struggling with the gun depression so it kind of teaches you how to play the rest of the line and it's same with the uh, uh, object 263 uh, and yeah so in that manner it's uh, really good to learn a tier 7 not on tier 8, 9 or 10, especially not on tier 10, because you will spoil your fun and you will spoil the fun and win for your team. And this kind, this type of tank is basically kind of uh, different, let's say it's kind of different. I, I Still I haven't played a tank that uh, was struggling so much with the gun depression, uh, so yeah, like it's, it's weird, it's kind of weird. But if you're used to it, I guess uh, you will go fine. Uh, I mastered it like in the fifth, sixth, maybe seventh game, basically, and it was quite an uh, interesting game. You will see it on my channel as soon as I uh, just uh, put all my uh, viewers' masteries also. Uh, so, yeah, I'm gonna show it to you. Here you have like two first classes, and I guess, uh, as I remember, the last uh, game will be the second class. But here we're gonna sit back. Of course, we are top tier. Uh, but as you can see, everyone, just basically everyone, went to dunes. And as you remember, this tank has only two degrees of gun depression. Tell me how I supposed to fight on dunes with two degrees of gun depression. Basically, there's no way I'm gonna be affected there. So all I can do is support my team from distance. And I'm trying to do it. I was uh, hoping and I was uh, trying to convince my team to push the city with me, the heavies at least. Like we have three heavies, they have three heavies. If I pushed with the heavies, we would have advantage in the city. Uh, and even if we wouldn't, if the SU-100 was uh, pushing the city with the heavies, at least we would have uh, like even chances. And with my mobility and uh, the fact that I was uh, tier 7 against uh, SU-100, which is tier 6, we would have even more advantage. So, uh, in situations like that, when your team just pushes uh, the other way, 
directly opposite way. All you can do basically is sit at the back and try to do your best to help your team. Uh, we're gonna push, of course we're gonna push, as you can see, uh, the gun is typical <laughs> Russian, it can troll you a lot of times and in the other games you will hit 100% shells, it's like typical for, here we're gonna just hit once and we sh hit, just shot like 5 times, uh, which was um, not great, but now I decided to push, I can see uh, there's one TD in the city, uh, the SC100Y, and I really don't want to get hit by him because it will basically turn me into one shot. We would just try to get some spots where we can uh, use the, our gun elevation. As I told you, the gun elevation is gr uh, great. So I used it to kind of create gun depression. And uh, it's great on distance. If you camp, if you snipe from the back, you can do it and you will be effective. But if you are sitting in front, there's no way you're going to sit in, in the side of the hill that is uh, just on the side that your enemy is on that basically you will, won't survive long but now we're facing uh, bottom tier mid uh, light tank and we were just bouncing shells like I told you the the armor is kind of trollish and uh, this uh, tiger one was really doing great job to be honest he was doing great job uh, I wasn't able to uh, pen him a bit later you will see uh, but there's he's the only one left and uh, we have like three tanks left and other than that uh, that we had advantage in tanks this guy was doing a brilliant job and I will almost die uh, fighting him I was just pushing him because we, I had hit points but uh, right now as you can see I'm a two shot he will shoot me once more but uh, we could just gonna load heat and punish him on the side I just basically had to kill him so that's why I used it and that's all for this review hope you enjoyed it if you like uh, my videos please uh, consider subscribing to my channel you can join my discord link in the description take care bye bye and catch you all on the battlefield